Uh, there's our first up close view of Dragon um, from the International Space Station. Sort of see the navigation lights, the, uh, there's red and green that indicates starboard and port, uh, the position of the Dragon, and then there's that blinking docking light right at the center. And there's a nice view kind of capturing um, a little bit more situational awareness um, of the International Space Station kind of painting the picture of just how close the crew is. They are coming up to waypoint zero, which is about 400 meters away from the International Space Station, still outside of that keep out sphere. That keep out sphere is the 200 meters surrounding um, the space station. Space Station and Dragon are approximately 261 statue miles over Turkey. It's morning over in Turkey. They'll continue in daylight for much of this maneuver. And Dragon, great news. We have good solution on both Dragon Eyes and we'll be continuing to station. SpaceX Dragon, that is good news. Thank you. We love to be creative with our how with how we name hardware <laughs> here at SpaceX, um, and the Dragon Eyes are exactly as the name suggests. They are what allow Dragon to see um, one of these several sensors on board Dragon that that really um, steer it part of that uh, guidance, navigation, and control systems. Um, but yeah, those Dragon Eyes uh, are are basically uh, uh, clusters of two thermal imagers. Um, as well as to LIDAR range finders. Um, so those Dragon Eyes, there are two of them on board Dragon, um, and those will be critical uh, for the, the docking uh, approach of Dragon Endeavor to the space station. These fantastic views, again, courtesy of the space station external cameras. We're on a southeastern track right now passing over Iran. I do hope Sultan al Niadi is paying attention to where he is. In a few moments, we're going to be passing right over Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. It's amazing. You can see the features of some of the beautiful coastal regions of Iran. And the Persian Gulf is very prominent, that blue area on the bottom left of your screen. Again, the console position in the International Space Station flight control room is Cronus who has complete control over the cameras, adjusting zoom, position, as well as exposure. Station Houston on the big loop. Monitor approach for step three of 1.102, Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Let us know when your review is complete and you're ready for docking. And a reminder for Duke to begin monitoring for MLMTC restarts at this time. Perfect tracking copies, we've got that review in work. Mission copies, and we're in work on 1.102. So we're now in approach one. You saw the Draco firings to get us. Now we're on that uh, docking axis with Zenith port. We're making our way closer to um, what's called waypoint two. This is a 20 meter marker right in front of uh, the docking port on the Zenith side. The crew has a burn monitor tool um, available in their crew displays. Um, they are able to access that basically from the moment that the nose cone is opened all the way through deorbit burn. Um, it basically provides the information, you know, when we say monitor, monitor progress, um, you know, they're able to, to have that insight into um, the expected delta Vs, the, the magnitude of the burn, um, how long it will last, uh, and of course, the, the countdown timers um, for um, Dragon's prep state of the burn, as well as the, the burn execution itself. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture ringing extension complete. SpaceX Dragon copies the speed as well. station is complete with our review of steps five and six and we are ready for docking okay houston copies all and at waypoint two dragon will briefly pause houston 
drink that piece. SpaceX Dragon, our visors are down, and we are ready for docking. Copy. SpaceX will enable approach shortly. As a reminder, once Dragon is inside the crew hands-off point, retreat and breakout are not permitted. SpaceX Dragon, copies. I think the crew might be using one of the tablets that they take with them to take some pictures. Um, it looks like they're perhaps trying to <laughs> see if they can see the ISS through the, the small window uh, located on that forward hatch. That's right. They have the display is right in front uh -huh. of them, so they can't bring it right <laughs> up there. They have to sort of angle it near their knees. Yep. It looks like they got a couple of good ones now. And unfortunately, because they have to remain uh, you know, in their seats and um, buckled in, they uh, are unable to, um, you know, really be able to get up close to the windows to, to look out either. Uh, we're about to see uh, two dragons dock to the International Space Station. Definitely not the first time we've seen that. We've mm -hmm. had um, a lot of these handovers between crews aboard Dragon. You can actually see that Crew 5 capsule there yeah. at the top of that thermal image that was on the right-hand side of your screen. Um, so that's a view of the Crew 6 capsule holding there at waypoint 2, that 20-meter mark from the International Space Station. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture confirmed. SpaceX Dragon copy is taking. That soft capture occurring at 10.40 p.m. Pacific time, 12.40 a.m. Central time. International Space Station and Dragon were 261 statute miles off the coast of Somalia in Eastern Africa. Beautiful view there from the uh, cameras on board the International Space Station. That is the Crew 6 capsule as it has uh, just completed the hard capture. Docking sequence not quite yet complete, but hard capture is complete. That is the zenith port of the ISS. That's a great indication of the hooks, too. All 12 hooks are engaged in place, looking good. Steve Bowen, on board the International Space Station. Woody Hoberg now on board. Sultan Al Nayadi comes on board the International Space Station. And Andre Fedyaev. So the Crew 6 board, uh, the Crew 6 crew is now on board the International Space Station. They'll uh, take a few minutes uh, to uh, complete uh, greetings uh, between each other before they set up uh, for the welcoming ceremony.
So the International Space Station, now a crew of 11 crew members for the next week. Once again, uh, hatch opening occurring at 2.45 a.m. Central Time, 3.45 a.m. Eastern Time. The International Space Station was flying at an altitude of 260 miles off the southeast coast of Australia. The uh, Crew 6 crew on board, veteran Steve Bowen and three first-time flyers, joining Nicole Mann, Josh Cassida, Koichi Wakata, and Anna Kikina, along with Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin and Frank Rubio, who's at the hatchway right next to Sultan al Niyadi, the first Emirati astronaut to embark on a long-duration space flight, the second Emirati astronaut to fly in space. Steve Bowen uh, on board the station now for the fourth time. His first three flights were all assembly missions on the uh, space shuttle. Station, this is Kathy Leaders. How do you hear me? Kathy, we have you loud and clear. It's great to hear your voice. Well, I'm really, you, we created a little bit of anticipation there at the end for the Cruise 6 folks, making you wait a little bit longer before you got to station. But as always, it's so great to see you all go, come safely through the hatch and join your crew members on station. You know, this is going to be, a, next six months are just going to be packed <laughs> full of very critical events. And one of the first critical events is getting your Crew 5 uh, crewmates um, ready to come and come back down to Earth. Um, but we're really looking forward to all the great science, hopefully a couple of EVAs and updates on some new solar arrays. And uh, you'll have a few more crew vehicles coming up during this period of time, too. So, um, as always, we're super proud of you and looking forward to all the great things you'll be doing. And I'm proud to um, introduce uh, Hamad Almansori, and hopefully he's here on the line, too, to be able to give you some comments. All right, Kathy. Sorry. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. We couldn't agree more. While we wait for... Uh, there's Hamad. Great. We are uh, ready for your comments, Hamad. Thank you. Astronaut Steve, Woody, Sultan, and Cos Cosmonaut Andre, and little astronaut Sohail, congratulations to all of you on your successful arrival to the International Space Station. Your mission to space represents a huge milestone for SpaceX, NASA, and the United Arab Emirates. Crew 6. You become part of our community back home in the United Arab Emirates. Please allow me to say a few words in Arabic. Burashid, salam alaikum. Tistahilun salamat al usul al muhatta duwaliya. Tigatna fikum kibira. Intaliyum mat mathal al imarat fakat. Mathal al arab kulhum. Inta inshallah badkun bidayat 
انطلقت رحلات طويلة المدى للفضاء بالنسبة للعرب تذكر دائما كلمة سيدي صاحب سمو الشيخ محمد بن زايد أن الوطن وشعب الإمارات كله معك تذكر كذلك أن بهاي المهمة نحن نجسد توجيهات سيدي صاحب السمو الشيخ محمد بن راشد أن بعد هزاع المنصوري أن هناك سوف تكون طوابير تستكمل المهمة طموح زايد نتمنى لكم ولفريق كل التوفيق الله يحفظكم وترجعون سالمين إلى أرض الوطن I wish you all safe and successful mission thank you thank you Thank you so much, Ahmad, and thank you, Kathy. And we couldn't agree more. There is no better highlight than welcoming our friends to the International Space Station. And so congratulations with that to the SpaceX team, to the NASA team, and also to the team at the UAE. Uh, we're looking forward to the next few months that we get to spend with our friends, and it's going to be awesome. With that, I'll pass it off to the uh, ISS commander, Sergey. Uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so glad to uh, hear uh, our friends, uh, and uh, it, this is amazing uh, to see your smile uh, here, and uh, we're looking forward to work together. And uh, uh, Steve, uh, Sultan, Andrei, uh, Uri, I, my congratulations uh, for joining us, and uh, uh, first of all, I uh, uh, say uh, congratulate uh, the uh, who first time in space uh, this is uh, uh, an of important part of your life uh, andre uh, became uh, cosmonauts uh, uh, woody and uh, sultan astronauts uh, real astronauts now <laughs> and uh, i wish you uh, good wellness here and uh, happy flight and uh, amazing impressions here uh, looking forward to work together and uh, uh, my congratulations Again. Okay, and now uh, we pass it off to the Crew 6 Commander, Steve Bowen. It's great to be on board finally after a, a short delay just outside taking a look at the station, I guess. Uh, it's a real privilege to be here again. It's been 11 years since I've been here. It's it still looks like the space station, maybe a little more crowded, a little more, few more wires. I'm looking forward to same Koichi. Same Koichi, that is true. It is the same Koichi. Looking forward to uh, spending the next six months working on board uh, and uh, sending Crew 5 home after uh, a lot of well deserved, for well deserved rest. That's just some hard work. And over to Woody. Well, thank you. It's just incredible to be here as a rookie flyer. I just can't believe, you know, after years of training, it's it's the real place, and it looks just like, uh, almost just like <laughs> Building Nine at Johnson Space Center. So, uh, yeah, just I couldn't be happier with this amazing uh, Crew Six and amazing group of people, and I'm really honored and privileged to join Expedition 68. Frank, we're looking forward to spending a bit more time with you than you had originally bargained. We're going to learn a lot from you, and uh, I'm just, just so happy to be here. Luckily, I survived the first stunt. <laughs> yeah, uh, allow me to say a few words in Arabic. Shukran jazilan li kill min wagaf maana. Alhamdulillah, wassalam mahatat fada dualiya. Shukran li ummi wabui. Shukran li aylti li qiyadatna rashida li aatatna tqa hadi. Allah malak alhamd li marat taqtu khatwaat jabara. Inshallah, tatluha khatwaat akbar. Inshallah, fil mustaqbal. Hada kulla bi fadl al. القيادة الرشيدة ونظرتها والتعاون الدولي اللي تتبع دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة الفضاء مجال واسع مرحب طبعا بالتعاون الدولي الإمارات تخطو خطوات جبارة في هذا المجال اللهم لك الحمد شراكتنا هذه المرة جاءت في سياق أن نقوم بمهمة طويلة الأمد فيها منفعة للبشرية ومنفعة للإنسانية وكذلك الابحاث العلميه اللي ان شاء الله ترجع بالمنفعه للجميع. Uh, so thank you everybody for this opportunity. I would like to thank uh, my family, uh, uh, my parents, uh, the uh, leadership in the UAE, the Mohammed Barash Space Center that gave me the trust uh, to uh, 
to, to conduct this mission. Uh, I can't be happier than this. I mean, seeing old friends uh, in space, gathering as, as a big family, this is the essence of uh, space exploration. The UAE is taking uh, great steps towards uh, pushing the boundaries of exploration and uh, uh, cooperating with the uh, uh, space-faring nation to uh, explore more, to uh, uh, seek new endeavors into space. So uh, again, I said it before, but I uh, said it again, Go Dragon, go SpaceX. <laughs>